Hey there friend, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the Taurus G3C versus the Stoger STR9C. Both are pretty much the smallest double stack 9mm handguns that each company makes. Now the Taurus G3C also has the Taurus G2S, that's a single stack, but this is the newest and it's a remake of the G2C that is extremely popular. Both are budget handguns. And over here we've got the STR9C, which is basically a remake of the full-size STR9. It's just a little bit shorter with the grip, a little bit shorter with the barrel. And then when this was released in the summer, this last summer, many people said, hey, compare that with the G3C. And so we're doing that today. Now, both are budget guns. The MSRP on this is 305. The MSRP on this is 329. And I think they're both great. You know, I've had excellent shooting reliability experiences with both with, you know, brass, steel case, self-defense loads. And I, I just speak very highly of each. So we'll do a little size comparison here. Now, there's no question the Stoger is larger. It's got a 3.8 inch barrel. This has a 3.2 inch barrel. So if we look at the slide length, we'll see, see that the Stoger is about three quarters of an inch longer. And then in comparing the grips, we can see that the grip length is approximately the same. The Stoger is a little bit wider. Now, this comes with various packages. I bought it for... Uh, basically the MSRP price of $329 that comes with one back strap actually it's like a grip module and one magazine holds 13 rounds in the mag it will take the 15 round mags from the larger STR 9 but you could also get it with additional back straps additional magazines night sights and then of course the price increases from there we're looking at 305 here as, with as an MSRP and you know during normal times people were picking these up at least a G2C for you know 220 230 some even around 200 bucks so both budget guns both polymer frame striker fire handguns both nice shooters and both have been reliable for me let's start with the G3C they made some improvements I'm not going to go through each one of those but I will say I do like the front serrations okay they're they're rather small but they are there and I do like the grip texturing and then the trigger is actually a single action trigger what is one of the greatest advantages is well, is three 12 round magazines that uh, they are offering with the G3C and I find that advantageous three does have an accessory rail and a thumb safety that the stoger does not have and it also has a single action trigger that's breaking right around four and a half pounds and you're looking at the reset right there additional features include pretty heavy texturing on the grip it does have a sight hole indicator serrated black rear sights a small dot but these are Glock interchangeable and they are steel sights and an easy takedown. It also has restrike capability. We already showed clear, so initially it's a single action, but if you need to restrike that primer, it goes into double action. And of course, that is a heavier trigger pull. But a nice carry gun, you know, it would compare well with the. Sig P365 and the Springfield Hellcat in terms of its size. Now here we have a larger gun with the STR9C. 3.8 inch barrel, already mentioned that, 13 rounds, so you get the additional round. What I like about this are the sights. Now they are also metal sights, but these are larger dots. So it picks up very well. It does have a loaded chamber indicator bar that will pop up there with a loaded route a full pick rail so those are some advantages with the stoger what i like with this i mentioned a four and a half pound trigger this is right around six pounds it does have a nice clean crisp break but a little bit of a heavier trigger both have trigger bar safeties in there 
The G3 is a little bit wider, makes it real comfortable on the finger when pulling that trigger. But overall, a fine handgun. You know, the deep cut serrations, you know, for the press checks are, are more pronounced. I like that with the Stoger. I like the reliability, and I do like the Ergos on this. Now, it is a little bit wider, but the Ergos feel amazing when gripping this gun. So we're looking at more of a subcompact 9mm, a compact size 9mm, and both are very nice handgun both these handguns disassemble the exact same way we'll move the slide back use these takedown levers pull the trigger and off comes the slide a dual recoil spring with the g3c and a polymer guide rod and there's what we're looking at with the poly frame over here with the str9c it will disassemble the same way pull these takedown levers pull the trigger and off comes the slide here we have a single recoil spring but an all steel guide rod so both are easy to disassemble and reassemble no doubt about that we're going to get them on the scale and see what these are weighing in at now we know that the stoger is larger and we know that the stoger has a longer barrel so it's actually more of a compact size well it's called the compact you know <laughs> so here we're looking at one pound and a quarter ounces 24 and a quarter ounces i've got 13 rounds here we'll go ahead and throw that on the scale looking at 29 and three quarters ounces now the magazine holds 13 the magazine here holds 12 and we'll look the unloaded weight 21 and three quarters ounces there's 13 rounds and considering that it's a uh there has one in the chamber 27 and a quarter ounces you heard me say both of these are reliable handguns and i went into the archives and pulled out the limpress test let's start with the g3c how about a limpress test with the stoger str9c Both these handguns have proven to me to be reliable and accurate, and both are mine, so I don't have a bias. If I were going to carry, I would take the G3C all day long. It's lighter, it holds 12 rounds, it's a smooth shooter, but for home defense or you know range fun, this there's a little more girth to this, and it's a flat shooter. Both are great. I, I love them both, but I would take the Stoger. So, for carry, I'm going G3C, and for range or home defense, I'm taking that additional round and going with the Stoger STR-9C. Which one would you choose if you could only choose one? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.